Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Norton, and we're back with some more Penumbra Overture. Um, last time we fucking sucked all the deck, so today we're just hoping not gonna suck all the deck and actually like do things. I'm a fan of such things, you know, doing things. And now, let's not fuck up this time, we have the fucking, we have the fucking bolt cutter. Didn't work last time, I don't know what to do, but I'll try again. Wrong one. This is not working. How am I supposed? How am I supposed? Whoa! I just... Wow! I'm... Did you see that skill? So we can't do that. So what am I supposed to do? Why do I? Why do I have a bolt cutter I can't use? I have to check the door up here to see. Also, I can stand on the pipes. I can totally just get on these pipes, right? Can I just get a barrel up here and stand on the pipes? Door's jam shut. I'm gonna try that just to be an exploited little exploited dude. Dude, you can totally do that. What the fuck? <laughs> That's incredibly silly. Am I stuck here? Still can't cut him open. Can I... Can I crank this? You can't crank it. I might... I'm stuck. I'm just straight up stuck right now. Wow. Good, good, uh, good, uh, good, good stuff, developers. You truly made a game that makes sense. Wow, how's that even possible? Can't cut this open. Just I was to be able to do. This is a bunch of horse shit, my dude. And why wouldn't the bolt cutters work in the first place? I'm gonna have to load my save. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? All right, speed run. <laughs> Fucking speed run. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We have to go this way. Wow, the game, the auto saves in this game are fucking awful. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to like in exit the game and then come back in and just, you know whatever, but it's too late now. And I have to speed run the fucking game. So be prepared for skills you've never ever seen in a video game that doesn't require much skill. That I still suck at. <laughs> Alright, fucking run for your life. I don't know. I was complaining not not recording another episode, but now that we're just we're just stuck at like a point. That it makes no sense to stop at. I need to continue. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's still talking. He's still talking. Oh, he goes between saves? That's pretty fancy. I didn't know that. No, I appreciate it. It's a thing. They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the case door. Hide and seek turned to see the eyes, and I buried them here beneath the solid rock sky. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I'll, ha I'll get ya. I'll handle you. Alright. Did I really just do that? Okay, the auto saves work when you die, but not if you don't die. <laughs> just don't ever try to load your save. It's a bad idea. In general, it's just a terrible idea. Okay, all this is happening actually, I'm gonna consider what am I supposed to do over there? Okay, still f the game still moves when you're in your inventory. Uh, you can't use your saw on fucking like metal and shit, so that obviously doesn't work. I don't know, dude. It's quite a confusion that I'm not appreciating. 
ignore all the things. Just run for your goddamn life. Fuck you, spider. Fuck you, spider. Wait, what's... Oh, there was nothing in there to actually pick up. What's there? Okay, move, move, move. Move, move, move. Eh. Shit, another one. <laughs> Alright, alright, see ya! <laughs> With my remaining ear to the ground, I hear your trembling tootsies padding towards their final Shit. destination. Oh, we forgot their dogs here. Things you don't need to, to run. Wait, whether they want them or not. In fact, you and should so never run in this area. Will be open. The great metal door in reality is calling you, just as the Reaper beckons me forward. I look forward to finally greeting you. I only hope I need not greet the Reaper Man first. That's empty. Okay, ignore that. It's empty. Still know how to open this door. Still don't know where to get the code. A lot of things to find out. Well, actually, this leaves me an opportunity to check out the rest of the area, so I'm not really that annoyed by dying and loading the wrong save. Oof. Refinery, we, have, we are going to. Tool storage, we are in shaft 13. We came from shaft 12. Shaft 12, we have not gone to. Where is that? Where is that? Shit. That was a bit too close for my liking. Okay, let's just go this way. Fuck it. <laughs> I do not want to fuck with the dogs right now. Okay, we remember the path. We remember the path, which is good. Don't... Don't do the thing. Not do the thing, dog. Do not do the fucking thing. Fucking goddamn it, dude! Chill. Did you go? Did you fucking go? <laughs> this way, this way, this way. Just notice me. Good. Still, just run from here, but I'm not gonna bother doing that because I don't know reasons. Now we can do this again without fucking up this time. So we need a rock. We have to open this first. Um, this is gonna be annoying to do. There we go. Speed run. Do 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 do. So, ah, throw only this the engraving here. etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seen. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow for such oh, wow. frivolity. Nice. I got stuck in the worst possible Maybe way. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, what? are the rubber belted conveyors of some journey in rock room? I think I know what they mean. Is this really too heavy? Well, I guess I'm putting it with the rock then. That's dumb. That's real dumb. Wait, do I even need the rock then? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> go, 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 I totally get it. Oh wow, it did knock it off. Well, that, is, that actually has, is actually like, wow. <laughs> what did I just do? Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all just fine. It's all 
What? Wait, I could open that? Oh my god, I did... Wow, I just did everything the wrong way, didn't I? So you could totally open that up. Have to bring the engine by yourself. Don't know why they set it up like this. You could do it in different ways. I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't like they didn't expect people to do it this way, probably. We are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could give me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear at my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young rippling stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in this part. I did it again. So this is why I suck at every. F that actually hit me? I'm confused now. Oh my god. I'm not gonna not gonna do the slow route, so I'm just gonna have to run over if I fuck up. Alright, so what we do is we get here. Let me get here. We run here. Never mind, I was too early. Fuck. This is why I don't this is why I don't live life properly. Totally speedrun this if you want to do, but I don't know the pattern for that, so I'm just not gonna bother. Stand there for a second, stand for another second, then run over here, wait for this to be done, and then go. And you don't do the thing I did last time. Ignore everything else in this area, and just move on. You don't want to fuck with that right now. <laughs> goes up. I'm not sure if this is a good good way to go first. We'll do it anyway, I guess. Oh, you can... Okay, let's not do that then. Let's do the other way first. Okay, so that was the right way to go. Fuck. <laughs> This is why I never. This is why I should never trust my gut feeling, and I should, why, I should, why I should always trust my gut feeling and go back if I think a way is the wrong way. But I just don't. I just don't do that. Eh, that's why the door wouldn't open. <laughs> Whoa! Never mind. It's a different door altogether. Okay, go back. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that yet. Caught in tracks for transporting ore. As far as I know, they use the same setup to this day. It's completely closed up. I can't get out that way. I may never get out. What? It can't actually move? Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Chains are in the way. And that's what we need the bolt cutters for. Ah. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Now it all makes more sense. Let me get in the car. Never mind, that didn't work. No, get on the cart. Get in the cart. Okay, it doesn't work. What? This game is well made. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm s I'm s hopefully I'm not the only one that saw that. <laughs> you know, which would be impossible because I'm kind of playing the game. Stacks of books, they're a mixture of industrial reference material and the scientific journals. Oh. Copenhagen Post, Friday 25th November 1970. Superstition extinct. Death mind still breathing? Warcraft and North Western... Western... Western? The hell? Iron Mine, Greenland, is missing. Presumed dead. As if midnight last night. Locals fear foul play. Mining now forms the largest single industry in Greenland. At 16 years old, the Northwestern Iron Mine is a relatively new part of a larger complex, which also excludes, includes a lead operation and is built on the site of an older mine. Later converted into a military bunker, and finally closed in 1952. The Iron Mine 
retains its excellent work record, in spite of the recent disappearances, the disappearance of an as an, an as yet unnamed worker. I got a drink. Oh, Jesus! You have discovered that the man in questioning was a young laborer brought in from a mainland Europe, possibly Denmark. And, and authorities on both sides of the strait are currently attempting to con con contact any family he may have left behind. The man disappeared ten days ago, and the mine foreman has now exercised its power to declare him presumed dead. This decision, we are told, was not taken lightly. A full search of the mining operation was commissioned to no avail. Without the appropriate equipment or transport, the man could not have survived on the surface. Although superstition in Greenland have ha has seen a decrease in popularity over the past few years, some local inhabitants still claim that the land itself is cursed. This very paper ran a report almost 40 years ago to today, discussing high suicide figures for the area, but findings at the time were considered to be inconclusive. Lars Jensen. Yes. Saving. Oh, a cohort, a man with no name. It is he who opens the gateway to hell. A grin on his face, he is terrible indeed. He watches the men writhe and turn. Still, father looks on, something vitally in his hand. Alright, good stuff to hear. A 60 microscope. A functional for research purposes, but I've come a long way since those were common. Stacks of books. Oh, <laughs> the bookshelf is what I was looking at. Looks to be a smaller species of that worm thing I saw earlier, or just a juvenile. It's been dissec dissected. The internal organs removed. Couldn't be much older than that wall I demolished. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus, you're floppy. I'm gonna put you upside down. <laughs> I can't cut you, can I? No. Okay. Hands of newspaper clips or clippings, all to do with biomedical sciences, local wildlife, or field studies. Can I clean you up? Probably not. Jesus Christ, you're floppy. There's a mess of statistics and crude drawings on this chalkboard. They all relate to a larger species of annelid. The fuck is an annelid? I have to know. Nothing. Wow, only one of them even had anything. Is Kiel still in the lock? So... This is how we'd have to take it out. We're gonna key out isn't going to achieve anything. I need... Oh yeah, I need something to collect it. What would we have to collect it with? My saw? That will actually be entirely possible. So we could take one of these papers. Whoa! expect that. It's badly faded, but it looks like a close-up view of some species of antelid. Alright. Alright. The images and notes relating to a grey rock worm. This thing is big for, the, for an inter invertebrate. So do I put, put my soul in there here? Okay, that's not right. Uh, my notebook? Nope, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even have anything to put under there. There has to be a paper or something. Turn you off. Can I pick up none of these? Oh. Didn't check the drawers, did I? Okay, we can use that. Okay, alright, alright, whatever. Didn't see it. Fuck it. I can't pick you up? Okay. Oh boy, I don't want to be here. At all. Um. Oh! Professor, these are the biomedical journals of Dr. J. Peters. MSc, PhD, completed between the dates of Mar 30th of March 1969 and 1st of January 1972, at the Northwestern Research Station, within the Northwestern Iron Mine, with the remission of Delta Mining Corp. P Republican, uh, no, <laughs> oh god, replication 
of selected extracts, extracts left at the disposal of mine foreman. Subject, subject of study, genus Ryacophila. That's an interesting name. Commonly, Grey Rockworm. Aim to investigate the normal presence of the caddis in the Greenland Rock. Method. Collect collection of samples, if indeed they can be identified correctly. Standard, standard series of testing, observation, and dissection, dissection. Personal notes. Upon arrival at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way of life down here, despite conditions. In general, one would assume that species that that species whose natural um, habitat is past a certain death would find the, the intrusion of human activity too great a threat to remain in place. However, almost the exact opposite seems to be the case in this, this instance. It is curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and that other deeper areas are teeming. And where the situ where their situation permitting, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time into the study of these organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here to continue to be the genus, uh, the fucking, the, yeah, the thing. <laughs> me. What? Ah, finally, some writing paper. Look at me, just juicing up the pages to scroll down whatever comes into my head. Ha! What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter. It's paper all the same. I can finally record what's been happening down here for, I suppose, about a year now. It's been near the end of 2001 by now. Huh. I wonder when Christmas was. No matter. No matter. Too tired to write now. Well, let's do a little first. Professor, sample, samples collected. The collection process had been far easier than I anticipated. The setup, the setup the, of the artificial environment for the rock worm went without a hitch. And the specimens themselves are so abundant as to make keeping them out far more challenging than containing them. They are all of a healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size, and I can only assume that this is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Specimens are as follows. Three adults in the artificial habitat, two larva larvae infants dead. I've been down there two days now, was meaning to record events every day, but was too busy towards securing the area. I've used some supplies from the old mining system to wall myself in here. It seems as safe a place as any, so those things should at least stay put for a little while. To that end, it seems I've had a pretty lucky stumbling here. All this old research is about something similar to what's been going hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after that, after what, after what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyway. Don't know how many are left inside. But this is good. These notes might have some way of to fight the things, the rock worms that follow me here. I don't know how they keep knew I was coming, or how they managed to follow me in the dock. But maybe I can work that out now. I found some old newspaper clippings, I guess. They're referring to this mine. I had no idea it was so old. So big. I can see now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history best buried down here. It worries me, though. We'd been resting all our hopes on re of rescue on one of the scientists who escaped light near the start, start of it all. And got out almost as the chaos began, so we figured we might have made it out and brought help. But maybe me and him are due to the same fate. We must record what's been going on, give the world the answers it needs, so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first, I need to worry about myself. Find a way out of here and work out how to kill these worm things. Professor, observations: the creatures are indeed larger than as than as previously previously recorded. Been recorded, the juveniles seem to still be growing far beyond their natural limits. Although the adults have now expired, I will wa watch with interest to see what ha what the lifespan of this particular subspecies. The worms appear to have three senses, as will be validated by previous research taste, smell, and an extremely sensitive sense of touch, which allows them to detect vibrations in the rock in the same way that the human eye senses beams of light and process them into spatial images. The natural prey is insects smaller than themselves, and heaven help those insects, because the worm is a vicious and efficient killer. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today, I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. However, it does seem that they detect movement by vibrations which would explain how they can see in the dark. Damn, there's almost no way to escape them down here. 
I'm on their territory now. Their territory, not territory. <laughs> Lifespan is three days and counting. I can still hear them inside the wall. It's next to precaution. I've locked myself in the smaller study area, connected to the main lab room. If they get through that wall, I doubt this store will stop them, but it's dead better than nothing. Barely. Conclusions. The subspecies of genus I Raya Cophila <laughs> Jesus is highly adapted for its environment. If released above the surface, it seems likely that it would quickly destroy the existing rockworm population, and soon after that, the population would grow to a size far outstripping its own food supplies. Given its increasing size and lifespan already, due to unknown conditions, I would have ha hypothesized that the worm, if left in such conditions for a reasonable period, about period of time, perhaps three to four thousand years, could grow up to further three inches, making it a total of almost one foot long. However, should those conditions change, or indeed, magnify, physical evolution should occur could occur far more rapidly. It's the fifth day today, and I sort of have begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they've entered it whatever area area surrounds this room. Future looks the future looks increasingly bleak. I intended to record here the events of the past year, in the hope that perhaps what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now, I realize I could write it all, write all I wanted, and no, no one will ever make it down here to read it. So why write this now? Good question, I have no answer. All I do know, I'd rather, do know is, I'd rather take my own life than die at the jaws of those hideous monsters. I have tied the noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. Jeez, I can't speak for shit. Can't, like, say basic words. As demonstrated by all the fucking talking at this day, that didn't make any much sense. <laughs> anyway, such is life. It's an artificial habitat. Those things look long dead. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. You know, because that's kind of what we were facing. Jeez. What the fuck was that? There it was, I didn't appreciate it. For good reasons. There was nothing in there. Do I really have to go through here? Under the debris, I'd say something huge broke into the room not too long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Oh no. Okay, you can't, you can't actually get through there. I'm happy I don't have to get through there because, god. So what death and disease down here? I suppose slugs were an in 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 inevitability. What the fuck? Well then. Did I read any of this? There's writing scrolled everywhere. Must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind. But whose? They left the blood. The. What? This doesn't make any sense. They left. The blood is deep. Head is. Tr this is quite difficult to read. Alone. Body. Water. Darkness eats something. Yeah, I can't really read this, so let's not bother. <laughs> it's all the same text, actually. This is the same text, this is the same text, this is the same text, so... Really, if you read one wall, you read all the others, as well. Well, let's turn it off, to not distract anything. Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melting your mouth, mousy morsels, there are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. Uh, by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> engine oil. I don't think I'll actually do that. Um, I think I'll not take that tip and I'll move on with my life. Alright, so this is what, what was down here. Now I need to go through the door. See where the fuck it leads us. Probably somewhere I don't want to be, but, you know, fuck it. I think entire pla this entire place is something that I don't want to be, so... 
Not a big deal. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> totally hide here if you never show up. Could you stop? Just doing constantly. Yep, the dog music. It's very helpful that the music that plays when the dogs are nearby is always the same. No. Probably you didn't do that. Actually, no, fuck it. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I'm kind of sick of dealing with you, so... Jesus, you are awful. No. What? I'm still alive? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Go, go, go. Go, go. I made it? What? He hit me, but I still made it. Jesus. I need to use this. Um... Okay. That was awful. I'm gonna go all this way now. Oh, I hate dogs in this game, dude. It's so hard to deal with. Like, you have to be so fucking precise. Put it away, put my ball away where it's supposed to be. Because if it's where I am, uh, where it was right now, um, then I wouldn't be able to move my mouse very well, and then I definitely can't kill a dog. appreciate that much. Get right in his face before he starts running and then it's much easier. Fuck you. So it's been forged shut, it will never open again. Pretty solid. I agree. Pretty solid. What? There's nothing? Okay. It's the random dead end. Now where we go? We are... At shaft... Tw no, we're not actually. The shaft flow is where we actually went. We haven't gone to ref... Wait. Oh yeah, we went from refinery and then to shaft 12. And then we went in a circle. I guess that makes sense. This is very confusing, if you can't tell. Well, what do we actually get from that? get anything from that? Like at all? It feels like it didn't. Where are we supposed to go right now? Where are we supposed to go? I'm so confused right now, dude. Finder's that way, Shaft Wolf's that way. Huh. Well, with all these things that happened after I left that place, I should probably move this way. I guess. Yeah, I went this way for Refinery. So, uh, what exactly are we supposed to do right now? I have no fucking clue. Do you go back to Shaft 13? I wouldn't think so. I don't know what to do, dude. This is very confusing. Where am I right now? I am here. With the dogs again. Wait, what? Is this refinery that way? What? I'm confused now. Oh yeah, it actually does lead the same way. That explains it, at least. Section C, do you go there? Do you go to Section C? Because that door wouldn't open last time. Would it open this time? Well, did I get the code anywhere? Did I get a code anywhere? I don't think I did. Hold on a second here. Yeah, d dates don't make sense to use, because there's several of them and every everything. Confusing. Oh, in one shot. I'm supposed. To, I'm. I'm sure we're supposed to go that way. It's not supposed to just. It's designed to just fall open. Shit, dude. 
Where am I going? Where am I going, man? Where in the world am I going? So I came from shaft 12. There's no other real way to go. Wait, can I go down here? I'm sure you've already been here, right? Oh yeah, this is... Wait. Oh! So you haven't gone this way. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh, you haven't been to Shaft 13. That's where we're going. Oh my god, dude. I have, I have the biggest brain. Banny brain. Alright, this makes sense. Where's this, though? Oh, this is where dogs were, would have been if they hadn't escaped. I'm sure. Oh, steam they're steam pipes, actually. Never mind. It's right there. Supposed to kill the dog in there? Is that a thing? Cause he went all the way up uh, up here. He's going. He's going in circles. What is he doing? This is a very excellent question. Let's go this way. Seems he's just paroling the uh, on parole in the area. I don't know why he's doing that. Patrolling rather. I don't want to say parole. Okay, this door does open. Good. Well then. Well then. Uh, he came from there, that's for sure. These rocks look loose. I might be able to shift them, but they're more likely to bury me alive. Which rocks? Okay, you can't move that or else you would be able to. to just, yeah, so whatever. More spiders? Fuck, dude. Don't. Why is this player trying to kill me? Ugh, I've got to get a grip. All these ends are blocked off. Doesn't help me. Let me get my fucking axe. I mean, my pickaxe right out again. What's going on right now? Oh, that's what's going on. That doesn't help me. What? I don't know how physics work. What the hell? Did you see that? Am I only that? Is that? Am I just going insane? Because that's not... I'm sure that's not supposed to happen. There was another one. Are you fucking kidding me? There was another one? Motherfucker, I hate this game sometimes. Right there, okay. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Fuck. That's not helpful. Yeah, let's just speed this. Let's just speed through this. We're so fast, they can't catch up to us anyway. Fuck. It's so deep. Oh. Can I block this up? Nice jump, bro. You kind of missed completely, but nice jump. Dude, 49 minutes. I'm not paying attention to the time at all. <laughs> um, can you music please stop now? I don't. I can't stop an episode if there's still dramatic music. Fuck. Still going on. What the fuck?
And, th and then I noticed last time, I didn't have any problems at all last time when trying to like do the stuff right. Now I'm just like, nothing. Whoa, there you are. Wait, how low am I? Not very low. Did you stop attacking me? Great. Okay, kill this guy, and it's over. Could you stop? Could you stop? Could you stop? I, I keep hitting the other thing. Fuck. Stop. Dude. Stop. Fucking stop. It's still going on. The fuck, dude? Damn, it looks like that I'm going to root up to the surface. Well, that doesn't help. Several hard hats here. So many batteries. I mean, this music is kind of forcing me to continue. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to end the tower right here in the middle of all the dramatic shit. <laughs> Because I think the game has glitched out or some shit. Doesn't want to stop being dramatic, and I don't know why. So, <laughs> there's another note. Holy shit! How did I miss that? Holy shit! Indeed. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and um, consider subscribing. Uh, because I, I love you some support. If you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time in the next episode. Bye-bye.